Okay, folks, this is for all those people that are putting an E36 reclined seat gear onto their shaft and they keep calling and saying that they're breaking it, going online saying they broke it, all that other good stuff. We're going to put on the worst case scenario. First, make sure you have the bearing on there. Start with the flanges, the bigger side, smaller, it's a tapered fit. Line, line up the splines. Now, now it started. It's not on there. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to take my fifth place go-karting trophy I'm proud of, and I'm going to beat it on, get it started. I'm going to flip it over so it's down on the desk. Okay, now it's flush with the top. I'm just going to take a, you can use a socket, whatever you want. We're just using a spare gear that we have on the shelf. Put that there. I'm going to tap it through just so I can get the E clip back on. A little bit more. Just enough so I can get the clip back on. So I don't know how everybody's breaking them, but that's about as worst case of putting it on as you possibly can. Thank you. Okay, round two. Just want to make the point that uh, it's real hard to break these gears, E36 seat recline gears, when you're putting them on the shaft. We're again going to do uh, worst, worst case scenario number two. First time we did with my fifth, fifth place karting trophy. Second time, we're going to use this nice little uh, ping golf club. Uh, it's a lot more difficult because I got to get way back on the handle to get started. But all right, again, big hole, little hole. We're going to start with the big hole. Tapered fit. You have fingers on there. They line up with the fingers in the gear. You can't screw it up because it only goes in one way. It just rotates right in there. I'm going to put it down. Gonna press it on to get it started. Gonna take my golf club. Gonna carefully probably hit my hand a few times. Uh, for you uh, for you roofers, it's probably painful to watch me do that. Now that's at the edge. I'm gonna go back to using my spare gear, which you can use a socket, whatever you want to use. Put it right in there so that the shaft can travel. Almost. Uh, it is there. I'm going to do it one more time just for all you fun people out there. I can get my fingernail into the groove. Gears on there, not broken. If you have it, if you have any questions, just give me a call and I'll walk you through how to beat a gear on without breaking it.